Hi, I'm Randy with RBD Instruments. Water vapor results in longer pump down times and it can also affect processes and measurements. In this video, we're gonna talk about some of RBD's products that can help desorb water vapor from vacuum chambers. There are two primary methods for desorbing water vapor, heat and UV. Starting with heat, many vacuum chambers have large external heaters and thick bakeout blankets to trap the heat. That type of a bakeout scheme works really quite well because it puts a lot of power, a lot of heat into the system, into the chamber about 200 degrees C, and that could be for perhaps as long as uh, 12 hours or 48 hours, you know, long, long time. So a lot of power for a long time. It works, it works quite well. If your vacuum chamber does not have external heaters and a bakeout blanket to trap the heat in, then a product something like our VB series would work well for you possibly. It comprises the IRB 600 emitter, which is a 600 watt emitter, fits on the vacuum chamber. It's mounted on either a 2.75 CF flange or a 40 KF flange. Also in includes the BC3 controller. The controller provides the power to the emitter, how much power, how hot you want to get it basically, for how long you can set the time. And there's also a external uh, thermal couple that's mounted on the vacuum chamber that provides feedback so that the, when the controller hits the temperature, it turns off. And there's also a pressure interlock so that if the chamber pressure gets too high, then it will turn off the heat as well. So this is a way that you can put heat from internally in the, in the, to the chamber and you have very good control as well. But what happens if your uh, vacuum chamber processes the, the optics inside of the chamber can't take heat? Well, in that case, we've got our, our UBB100 series. And that comprises the UBB100 emitter, which emits 185 nanometer uh, wavelength of UVC radiation. And that provides enough energy to break the, the bond of the water vapor molecule to get it to come off the chamber. That's controlled by our UVB100 controller, which basically just set, sets the time that the controller's on and you can start and stop that remotely as well. So there's no control of the temperature with this, with this product. It just puts out its, uh, the power that it puts out, which is about five watts of the 185 nanometers. So this is a low temperature, low heat solution. It's for cases where your vacuum chamber or, or the process or your, your, the components inside of the chamber cannot take very much heat at all. This works quite well. And then related to that, we have another product called our Mini-Z. The Mini-Z is also a UVC emitter it's just very, it's a very small emitter. So the surface area is much smaller than the UVB100 emitter, which means that the power is proportionally less as well. However, this works quite well for small chambers and load locks. And then what both of these products have in common as well is that they can also break down hydrocarbons. So if your chamber is contaminated with hydrocarbons, either one of these products would also break those down so that they can be pumped away. So to summarize, we have our uh, VB series product for systems that can take the heat up to 250 degrees C, the UVB100 product for systems that can't take heat, and then for just very small chambers and load locks, we've got the, the Mini-Z. And there's more information on all these products in the links below in the description. Thank you for watching.